What do you call a fish with no eyes? She's a little legend. <laughs> oh, don't f with me, man. Three, two, one. Greetings and salutations, my little chipmunks from all around the world. My name is Ramon and this is Hit or Miss TV. Today on the show, we're going to be reacting to Ghostbusters Afterlife. Who are you going to call Ghostbusters? Now, if you're as old and as grey as I am, you're going to remember the original Ghostbusters movie. I think it was around 1984, 1985, starring Bill Murray as Peter Venkman. Let's see if I can remember them all. Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna freeze there. Dan Aykroyd as Stance. Ray Stance, Peter Venkman, Ray Stance, Winston and Spengler. Is that right? Well done, everyone. The original movie is an absolute classic, of course, as you all know. Freaking best movie ever. Everyone knows Gus, uh, Gu Gus Busters. <laughs> Are you stupid? Ghostbusters, the original is an absolute classic with the theme song by Ray Parker Jr. <laughs> Ghostbusters. The second movie featured a cameo from someone I loved at the time called Bobby Brown, who's a singer. The theme song to the second movie was On Our Own by Bobby Brown, which I absolutely loved. Did we have a Ghostbusters 3? We didn't, did we? Stop crying! We had the 2016 one, which I only watched about two or three days ago. It's not that I don't like it. I am physically repulsed. I just thought it was a meh. It's shit. It was just a meh movie, you know? Do not lie to me! So here we are with Ghostbusters Afterlife. I don't really know too much about it. I love the original, as I say. I think I love you. The second one gets a lot of stick, but I still love the second one for nostalgic reasons. Why are my drippings with goo? This wasn't one of those movies where I was kind of rushing out to the theatre to see this. Who cares? It's one of those films like, yeah, I kind of wait for it, and that's where it's at now. So it's streaming right now. I'm too excited! So here we go. Ghostbusters. With Ghostbusters Afterlife. Let's do this, baby. <laughs> Burgers, spinners. Right, so we've had a car accident at the very start of the film. It looks like the house from um, Casper, the movie Casper. That's the Santa Mill Millennium Falcon, they've nicked that. It's from Star Wars. That's to say that there's a ghost nearby, but I think you knew that already. Ooh, smoky smoky. What on earth is that? Was that supposed to be Spengler? Does that mean we're going to see Winston? I don't know. It's a creepy house. Be a deer and break into your grandfather's house. Little uh, lockpick guru, is she? She's a little bit of a gangster, this one. Well, she's automatically my favourite already because she's the nerd. Nice. It's not a creepy house at all, is it? It's definitely a mix between Casper's house and um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I like it. <laughs> Under the dining table, now. So they think it's an earthquake, but it obviously isn't. It's probably something else. Can I help you? Is that Janine? I'm uh, Janine Melnitz. We spoke on the phone. It really is her. There is quite a bit of debt. <laughs> so he was broke then. Speak for yourself, man, but that place looks awesome. Yeah, you're changing mind now, isn't it? Nice little mixed race cute. He's like, yeah, I like it here now. Yep, yeah, she's my favourite. Nerdy girl. My name's Trevor. My name is Trevor. I have a chance with her. You really do. Gutted. You just got mugged off, mate. You knew my father? No one knew your father. Oh, shame. She just crushed your dad. I'm definitely digging this town now, I like this place. I'm calling it, they're all gonna start moving and her granddad's gonna start playing chess with her and speaking to her in sort of mysterious ways. Why should you never trust Adams? Because they make up everything. <laughs> hey, don't be yourself. She's a crap mum. Can you imagine who they've got teaching summer school? I teach her. Oh, gutted. My name's Mr. Gruberson. Mr. Gruberson. It's great, it's called Cujo. It's about a rabid St. Bernard. This ain't for kids. I call myself podcast. Because of my podcast. Okie dokie. I dig him. He's cold. That's my little gang. Hello. <laughs> These don't look tectonic or volcanic. <laughs> Notice a little P wave followed by a large S wave. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. 
Oh, got it. I know how many sides there are in a triangle. I just thought you were being obtuse. Oh, she's such a little sweetie. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. You don't believe in spirits? No. There's something you need to see. I'll grab my wheels. So he's going to show her some of the strange things going on. Okay, cool. I'm digging it so far. Okay, I'm digging it so far. Family have moved to a little town. Dad's passed away. Nerdy little vibes going on. It's, it's nice. It's a feel good kind of vibe at the moment. Oh, that's the um, the the flipping beast dogs. Go goza, goza, gozers, beast dogs. Do you want to be my lab partner? Well, I don't think we're going to be doing any labs, but yeah, sure, I'd love to. See the sweet innocence of kids, man. I'm so easily pleased. It's either horror, action, laugh. madness in the movies, or silly little kid stuff like this about feeling good. And it's little moments like that. I just, I'm a big softy, mate. Love it. Yep, so it started moving again, so it's Grandad Spengler's trying to make her aware of something. Is my guess. <sighs> yep, that's really happening. I'm surprised she's not freaked out. The first and foremost, the most important thing with any movie is if the script is good. Doesn't matter if it's a boy or girl who's leading the movie, and so far she's leading it, and I'm cool if it stays with her the whole time if she's like this. She's flipping awesome. She's wicked, man. It's a little gangster, isn't ya? Oh, that's where he put the trap, okay. Bit of Chucky on TV. Uh-oh. This is such a bad idea. He should know better. He is so careless and dangerous. This is a bad idea. Ooh. Totally irresponsible. That was wicked. What are you doing? Giving a little color, setting the mood. It's creepy, I dig it. <laughs> Paul Rudd is such a G, isn't he? Well, I'm, I'm also an escort. Okay, yeah. Yep, that come out wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's awkward. A bit of tension between them there, innit? I think Gruberson's trying to bone your mom. Yeah, that's what he's trying to do, mate. What did we let out? Yeah, exactly. A group of children going up to an old mining shaft where there's spirits. As if you would sit on some flipping lift with a giant hole like that. No. Did that just say Goza? Okay. Oh, I'm sure Phoebe will find something. Yeah, she will. She'll find everything because she's a little rock star. Spengler, yeah, so it is Spengler's uh, her granddad, Cole. So she's going to discover that it is him, the infamous glasses. How weird is that? Okay, he's definitely helping her, man. And she's not freaked out by this ghost or spirit that's just helping her. I'd be freaking out a little bit, bro. Thinking of grabbing dinner with Gary. Who's Gary? Mr. Gruberson. His name is Gary Gruberson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Don't be yourself. <laughs> she's a little legend. She's cussing her own mum. She's, oh, I love her, man. She's awesome. I can't wait to hear this sound. <laughs> oh. Oh, I haven't heard that in a long time. Oh, that was awesome. But she should have gone flying because they were seriously powerful, remember? Well, she's got some guts while she's very silly because I'd be terrified. What is it? It's a ghost. I'm freaked out. Ah, oh, they've got it. He escaped. Awkward, nerdy kid, but she's awesome. You're damn right, Paul Rudd. She is awesome. You're not a great mum. Who knows? Maybe she'll take up pole dancing. <laughs> That's brilliant. That car really has had its day, in it? Oh, I like Muncha. Drop him! Get it right this time, little guy. <laughs> he got away again. Where are the police? Why ain't there no police chasing him? Got him, come on. Here comes the trap. Finally, third time lucky. That was close. Talk about leave it to the last second. That was very close, but they got it. And the police turn up now. Really? Really? Hey, don't we get a phone call? Sure you do. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Yeah, she's calling Stance. Don't go chasing ghosts. Egon Spangler was my grandfather. 
That's a really, really terrible cop. Who does that to a child? You absolute bastard. Who's a cop? Worst mum of the year. You were supposed to look after her this summer. She's a terrible mum. Okay, well, you're starting to sound like your lunatic grandfather. Phoebe! Ooh! She's a little badass. <laughs> I love her. The mum is terrible, the cop is terrible, the little girl Phoebe is the nuts, and Paul Rudd is the nuts. Everyone else is there. Oh, and that little dweeby kid who's with her who loves her is cool as well. My life is a dumpster fire. I love dumpster fires. You should see my apartment. <laughs> He's such a cool dude, isn't he? By the way, everybody thought he was nuts. He's not nuts. Then he's an asshole. Welcome to the family. She's just not a good mum. I don't like her at all. Like, she was saying all that stuff like, don't be yourself and all of this. She ain't a good mum. She hasn't been supportive or there for her kids at all. But here comes Gozer and the, the devil dogs. Here they come. It always starts off sweet. They're not very friendly, mate. Let the games begin. They're like little gremlins now, look. <laughs> Oh no, that's awful. No, he's gonna turn it on, really. Uh. There you go, terror dog. He's waiting for them things. Oh boy. You don't want one of them chasing you, do ya? I mean, I like cats and dogs, but wow. Good visuals, though. Don't tell me you got eaten. What do a cigarette and a hamster have in common? They're both completely harmless until you stick one in your mouth and light it on fire. <laughs> I love a good joke. 1984. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's about to go down, guys. Get out of there. Get out of there. Definitely get out of there. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, wow. Spengler sorted that out, did he? <laughs> it's calling her, no. Well done. It's the first thing you've done, the whole movie. Well done. He sacrificed everything. Friends. Us. Bummer. <laughs> One of the worst on-screen mums I've ever seen in all my years of watching movies. She's a terrible mum. So it's all about to go down, okay. I'll oh, see you later then, Mum. Yeah, so this is similar to Janine and Rick Moranis. <laughs> what? <laughs> there must have been a lot on the cutting room floor because there's a lot of scenes here where it's just jumping, oh, they've all got suits now and oh, they've all the gatekeeper now and it, there's just a lot of things that feel like it's missing. It feels like there's about 45 like minutes of footage missing, which I can understand because it's a two hour and something movie. But I think that they've cut out a lot of stuff here. You can sense it and feel it. <laughs> He just wants freedom. I like that little dude. It's just a newer version of Slimer. Oh boy. They turned into them terror dogs. I like as well that they've kept the look of the terror dogs. They look very similar. Obviously the visuals look better than they did in 1984. Oh wow. Looks the same. I used to fancy her a little bit, not gonna lie. I have built this temple for you. That looks like Olivia Wilde. Oh, shame. <laughs> That's definitely Olivia Wilde. I can tell her, recognise her straight away. What do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> that was so awesome. Wait, let me run that back. I've got, I've got to listen to that again, sorry. One more time. That's the, best, that's the best part of the film. That was the best part of the film for me, sorry. Uh, There's no way that's gonna work. Got one of them. One second. You're awesome. It's gonna try and tease her with Spengler and try and convince her to join. Is that like the whole thing's a trap maybe? Oh, gutted. Oh no, them little suds, look. 
Oh no. It's got to happen. Come on. Hey, flat top. I told you, it's Venkman. Have you missed us? Get in there, boy. Oh. All the members of Ducks Unlimited, the Association for the Advancement of Retired Persons. <laughs> I'm so glad Winston's here as well. Are you a god? I remember this. Man, I love <laughs> Ouch, that didn't work. I don't remember this job being so painful. I do. Crawling back to me. Oh, it's so good to see them free again. We could have been the most spectacular power couple. He's still the same, Bill. <laughs> oh, good try, anyway. <laughs> We're finished. There you go, young blood. Oh, don't f with me, man. That was so sweet. That was nice, man. That was really, really well done. <sighs> sure, what's it called? Mystical Tells of the Unknown Universe. MTW, that's you. Ah. Uh, You're my subscriber. That's sweet as well. Here he is, Ernie Hudson. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not crying. That was a beautiful tribute to him. That was such a nice tribute to him. Rest in peace, man. That was really beautifully done. Really, really, really lovely. <sighs> I wasn't expecting to get all emotional, sorry. I can't believe you used to shock your students. I always zap the guys. <laughs> it works well. That's nice. Nice to see a little uh, throwback there with Sigourney. Oh, wow. Got a bit emotional, didn't I? A bit emotional. Bus and ghosts were the guys taught me not to be afraid, but I had the tools and I had the talent. The legendary Ernie Hudson. Uh oh. <sighs> Ernie Hudson. If you're watching this and you're unsure, well, you've obviously seen the movie because you're watching this for my reaction to the movie. If you're just skipping forward to the end and seeing this and you're thinking, oh, you know, I'm still gonna, m might watch it. Yeah, I think you should watch it. If you like the original two movies, you should watch it. It's very nostalgic. It's a bit slow in places, but overall for a feel good movie, and I, as you can see, I love the stupid jokes. Like that's just my sense of humor, really cheesy jokes. I'm just, I'm a big kid at heart, to be honest with you. Reminds me of those movies like E.T., Super 8, Mac and Me. It's just those kid films that makes you feel sort of like a child again. And we don't really have a lot of nostalgic movies that hit for the parents now, you know? And I'm a bit of an older gentleman, as you can see, and I always mention it, not that I've got a conscience about it, but I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought. I just thought it was gonna be a very bad movie and it's definitely a six, seven out of 10. I'm glad I've watched it. I'm glad I had a little cry out. I was, oh, there, it left me a bit, just caught me off guard, mate. It really did. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I've got a lot more coming up, including some horror movies. I'm gonna be doing a lot of horror movies because I know over Halloween, you really enjoyed me jumping out of my skin. So there's a lot. I've got a massive list all through the year of horror movies that I'm gonna be covering. So subscribe to the channel if you wanna see me jumping out of my skin plus all the usuals from the Boba Fett show The Witcher season 2 and of course the one and only Cobra Kai season 4 which is taking place every single Friday thank you very much for watching guys subscribe to the channel comments down below and I'll see you all again soon this is Ramon at Hit or Miss TV peace <laughs>